Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another edition of We The Best Inside the Clan. And today we're going to be taking a look at our last war. It was a epic war. Um, so yeah, as you can see in my base, I haven't really pushed much because my this thing is like glitchy. Like if I start moving the screen, you see how it starts shaking? And that is not good when you are trophy pushing. Because as soon as I hit a lightning, it will start going all over the place instead of where I want it to go. So look, this thing is just crazy. I mean, it's, it's not bad now, but when I go into the, um, to do the raid, it starts messing up. So I'm going to try to maybe transfer this account to another android maybe i could continue to push there or if not i still have my other town on seven which is close to titans also but yeah let's get into the war it was a really good war um let's see my clan all right we're doing pretty good we're on a eight war win streak and the clan we went against was called, um, I'll show you right here. It was none other than 7 Push. They're a um, good trophy pushing clan also. And actually they beat us. Um, it was a while ago. Right there. And we haven't really, see look it's starting to glitch already. We haven't been really losing much. But yeah, so when we went against these guys, we wanted to get revenge. And it was going to be hard to beat them because they had the advantage. They had um, Town Hall 11. But let's see if I could show you guys what happened. So as you can see, it was a really close war. Both clans was active. Both clans was good. I want to see what who had the most stars per attack. See, look, they had a Town Hall 11. That don't make no sense. But we even did good against that one. We could have got two stars, but it's kind of hard when you're going against a Town Hall 11. Uh, uh, well, they did get two more percentages on stars per attack. Um, let's see. We got more average destruction um, it was about the same on average attack duration all right but those are the numbers all right let's look at them so when you see them they had a nine war i mean nine war they had 11 war win streak so we knew it was gonna be hard. I'll show you um, their stuff, but hold on. Let me turn the the fan off because it's making a lot of noise. All right. So as you can see, let me get this up here. All right, they won eleven in a row. They've, they've been doing pretty good, too. Um, but let's show the, um, the war stuff. So, the story goes, their number one attacked our number two, and it three started easy. So, we was hoping that on number one, it would, like, not get three stars because we needed some breaks because they had the advantage and that's exactly what happened he got a 92 on the second i mean it, he did a good attack like i'm sure if he did that attack 10 times then maybe nine out of ten times he would have got the three stars so we was fortunate on that one and then their number two did that say look this thing i ain't even do that um, but yeah, um, let's see what happened here. So then towards the end, they, um, I think it was number four. No, it wasn't number four. It was number three. 
he he went in and he three starred our number four. And then we was hoping that he'll fail or on number five because that was the only one we had left, number five, and a town hall ten. And he he was a town hall ten, so we was hoping he'll fail against. He was gonna attack our town hall nines. There's no way he was gonna try to do the town hall ten, because the town hall nine would have gave more stars. So yeah, so he ended up failing on his second attack, and that really opened the door for us. So then we came, and we still had a lot of attacks left, and we were just trying to see what we was going to do. And it went down to the end, and at the end, we still didn't know for sure what was going to happen. But yeah, let's show you some attacks. So over here, um, RPNK, she was going to do a, a Town Hall 9, and I saw her attack, and... She was doing really good on practice because we ended up having the same base as them, one of our Town Hall 9s, which was crazy. So she attacked that, and she was doing good versus it. And when I saw her doing that, then I just told her, you know what, just do number one, and I'll do the Town Hall 9. And what was funny about that is I practiced a lot against that Town Hall 9, and I did good. I, I was three-starring it. And then when I went in the war and I did the attack, I ended up failing. <laughs> but um, luckily it worked out. We have other good players. And when one guy does um, does bad, the other guy steps up. And, you know, it just happens like that. And then another war, they might, you know, not be great. And then I might do good, get six stars. But yeah, as you can see, she she ended up one star in this base, which is all we needed. We just needed the one star. And she only had like five minutes to do an attack. She had to do stuff. All right, let's get out of this one. And let's get into the main attacks. The last few attacks, which was three and and four. Now on three and four, we told the guy um, that attacked the maker. He did four first. He's a very good attacker. He would for me. He was like the him and R P N K. They both saved the war for us. And this is the base I was talking about, the Town Hall 9 one. That I ended up failing versus. And he just did a really good attack. Like, I've seen him attack before, and he just keeps getting better. So I knew that, you know, if there was any bases remaining that he was going to probably do number one, but I wanted um, RP and K to do number one. That way he could just use his attacks to do the three stars and, and he got it let's fast forward a little bit and at this point we was losing the war so we had to get perfect on this attack and the other attack All right, the three stars. And then at this point, I had told him that if he three star number four, that I would let him do, you know, get on my other account. So look, I'm going down and it goes up by itself. So I told him if he three stars number four, he could get on my account and attack. So. Um, he did. He got on my account because I had failed earlier. And I thought we was going to lose at that point. So he did this attack. And it was like, no lie, it was like 30 seconds remaining in the war. And he got all the information and everything. And, and he got it all done in time. And with a few seconds left, he, I think he ended up jamming also. 
and then he ended up doing this attack. He had to jam the troops. And then over here, the king almost went to the... And luckily, he turned back in. I don't know if I would have been able to make this attack. It was a really good attack. I mean, we talked about it. But he ended up doing it real good. I even went from the backside right there, got got that other air defense. And then I think around clean when it was cleanup time, like right here, around that point my game started freezing. So I don't know what happened. So I looked in the, the chat and everybody was celebrating that we won. So like right now I'm seeing I'm seeing all this for the first time. And that right there gave us the win. So yeah, it was a good war. Um, so now we're on a eight war win streak. We're hoping to do 20. Our, our highest has been like 16 in a row. But we're going to try and, and do 20 and see what happens. Um, But yeah, this is it for now. Just wanted to show you guys the epic war that we just had. And... I'll um, post some, some replays after this. So I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.